Okay then, so basically I'm going to be doing something uh, quite uh, unusual today. So basically, I have my Lenovo computer, which is the newest one I have. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be running MS-DOS on it. So basically I'm going to be taking this MS-DOS boot floppy which I created. I'll show you how to create one later on in the video. So I'll just pop that into the drive turn on the computer. I can't remember whether I charged this one up, so probably got a lowish battery, but see the drive is actually lit up and should boot from the drive. We should start to boot now. Yeah, I can hear the drive making noises. Yep, it's starting. So yes, MS-DOS on a modern computer, a modern Pentium. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go dir slash w just so that I can list everything on the drive. So we have a lot of things on this floppy disk. It also has basic, a uh, Q basic, and the edit program. So I guess first we'll check out Q basic. So we'll go into the Q basic folder. CD Q basic, and then I will launch Q basic. the other drive loading the program into memory. There you go. And we can even check out the QBasic survival guide, so if we press enter. Yes, this is this program is like thirty five years old. And it's running on a computer that's only about three years old, which is quite cool. It just goes to show how backwards compatible modern computers are. So we can see QBasic, it's got the survival guide open. So we can either choose index contents and you get the idea. It shows you everything about QBasic and what to do. So if I go alt and then if I just I could just go file and then exit and then we'll check out edit so cd that and then c edit and then we're in the directory so now we can go edit. Now that's loaded up. Now interestingly, it's displaying this in black and white, which is interesting. Let's see if I can retrieve one of my, sort of like a miniature document which I wrote on this. So go file, open, and then I would go to docs. And then I wrote a thing saying, let's just go to that test. And there we go. This doc this is a document that has that has been written on one of Microsoft's one of the oldest Microsoft computer well it isn't really the oldest Microsoft computer program because that basically dates back from like the seventies when you had basic which ran on like uh older old computers like the commodore pet and apple computers which were really old but this is just it's just old i guess <laughs> okay so we can we can file and exit and now 
I shall turn this off. Which, you may be wondering, how do you shut down a computer running MS-DOS? Because you can't just say, shut down. You can't just do that, because it just says bad command or file name. No, what you, what you actually do, which seems a bit odd, you actually just hold down the power button and turn it off like that. Sort it. Now... Let's create a boot floppy. So this is this floppy here. It says kind of custom font, which doesn't have that on it anymore. It's just a blank floppy from what I remember. So I'll just plug that into into it, and I'll plug it into my Windows Vista computer because you actually. I think Vista was actually the last version of Windows to. Um, actually allow you to create an MS-DOS boot floppy so what you need to do is you need to go into my computer and right click on floppy disk drive go to format it might take a while because it needs to initialize the floppy drive And also, I must admit, this computer is a bit slow. There we go. Now, what you want to do is, if you want it to be quick, you can just select quick format. And then, what you want to do is you need to create MS-DOS startup disk. Click start. It'll ask you if you want to format everything. And it will erase everything. And you press OK. Yes, um, I think Windows Vista is the last version of Windows to actually allow you to create a MS-DOS boot floppy. I mean, it could have been Windows 7. I think it might have been Windows 7, actually. It's finished, it's nearly done. There we are, format complete. Now, what we can do is I've actually uh, set up this. Comp I forgot to mention this, but what you need to do before you do this, before you can boot MS DOS on any modern computer, you need to go into the BIOS and make sure that it's set to legacy uh, BIOS and then you also need to make sure that um, booting from USB floppy drives is enabled. So what we're going to do is we're going to restart this computer. So if I just restart. And then it should... Uh, hopefully reboot into MS-DOS and do bear in mind this disk was actually one I created earlier but it should boot from this one now yep I can hear it seeking and there we go we are boosting into MS-DOS. There we go. And now, D-I-R slash W. We can see all our files are there. Now, it's not got edit or any of the other it's not got edit or QBasic on there. I added those um, myself from a MS DOS 6.22 ISO I had on my other computer. So that's that. So this, you can't really do a lot with the with um stock MS DOS like it is just how it's being created now you can't really do much with it and also you might notice that um, the text might be a bit cut off there because um, 
it uh, can't really frame the the VGA can't really uh, frame it right. Basically, the resolution's messed up for this monitor. So yes, what I'll do now is I shall I shall turn off this computer. So as I said before, you can't just type shut down and it shuts down safely. You actually have to go to the tower and then turn it off like that. So yes, this is MS-DOS running on modern day computers and how you create one. So that's it.